Hope you're all having a, a lovely Friday. We are going to look at a... Uh, I've already picked a mission out, it's just a um, cargo. It's a small, it's the cargo delivery one. So we're going to try this one first. It shouldn't take long in the gila, but we'll um, we'll see what else uh, she can offer after we've done this one. So, oh, let me just look at the... Yeah, we're fine with the space in the ship. I'm just thinking some cargo ones are way big. So it's next... No, it's here. It's even it's in the Mocha, so we'll just we'll just walk to the spot. So I'm probably gonna drop the drone straight away. They might get some aggro though, so I might have to pull them back. Uh what have we got? Just uh Kaldara Navy Vespers. That's where they went. I was looking for them in the other mission. Uh, let's see what's local. Uh, okay, I'm going to buy five of those, I think. Cool. I'll be waiting for when I get him. Let's go to location. So this is going to be up close and personal. I've got a Gistum A-type medium shield booster. <laughs> Can't say I've used this fit before, so we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. DPS is... Mm, let's have a look. Yeah. Well, sixth of it is drone damage. The rest is from the ship, so you are relying on the drones, really. Rather than... Uh, the ship so let's go let's head towards that let's drop let's drop the drones as soon as I get locked aggroed they will do their stuff there they go and I'm picking up the aggro so that's fine what I uh, just in b-type afterburner sweet we got we got a water fitted on the ship it's been so long so I'm not really going to use the missiles and we'll see what well the, the drones are knocking out like I said though it's a pretty basic um, pretty basic mission I think now I'm not cat stable for seven minutes 27 that's fine let's get that into the gila okay I may have to lock these two up but all bit this at about five thousand the damage isn't massive I'm going to put those two... Ah! Damned. I'm just going to have to let them do their stuff. Right, let's try these two again. Just need to get these two little ones locked. No, I'm getting dampened. To see where the drones go. Ah, they are going to the little one. So he'll be dead in a sec. No, no, they're not. Straight past him. Great. Let's put them on him. <clears throat> okay, he's. He is, come on, pop him, climb it. Okay, and that one. <clears throat> okay, let's get it on some of these. 
dampening me. The little one I'm on to lock again. Right, go on, finish him off. Right, that's better. Gonna uh, wrap up. These Brutix there uh, and the thoraxes don't uh, don't live too long. Do I turn that down a bit, guys? Because it is um, hitting you guys hard. It's hitting my ears hard, so it must be. Um, it is. It is deafening. I'm going to have to look at the settings for that. So there's bounties on these, 1.2 million that, so it's uh, the Serpentis, so they're worth... They're worth killing. <clears throat> okay. Let's get these Thoraxes killed. Should be kept stable with the micro uh, with the uh, afterburner off. I don't really like putting uh, shield extenders on like that, so we will we'll have a look at the other. I've got some spare, so. We might refit out with hardness. See, it's slowly creeping up. Just gonna overheat this. Just refit this. It's not working for me. I think I'd rather have it uh, refitted. Warp drive active. I'll repair that. So if we look on the mission, let's bring that down, and it is cargo delivery, and it's uh, Serpentis, and it should be kinetic, yep, kinetic and thermal, thermal, kinetic, uh, yep, kinetic, thermal, we'll, uh, we'll go with that on the hardness. I think that'll be more beneficial than just a crap load of uh, shield extenders. <clears throat> I don't know where I got that fit from. I really don't. I could nick some... Um, I could nick the shield, the booster from the Tengu. Right, so we'll put a thermal in. And we'll put kinetic. Uh, if I've got one, uh, I will just swap ships. Let's get the Tengu. So I'm going to swap that out, swap that out, and swap that out, and take that as well. I think we should notice a difference. <laughs> Take that, 
that. And that. And that. Put that there. Did I take that one off? It's that one. Yeah, just an A type. Yep. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, cap is crap. See what it's like with that one on. Just as bad. Right, we'll we'll give it a go with this. Uh, that's not the right one. God Almighty. That's the right one. Hmm. Don't think that'll fit in that one. Three twenty two as opposed to two forty. Yeah, and that's what I got off the off the tango. Right. So it's these that are draining cap. Anyway. Let's push it out and see what happens. Let's warp to the mission. Drive active. <clears throat> I know I've got the stuff, so I could just weigh the mission in because it literally is. And that's it. Retrieve the cargo. But I just want to see how this fares. I'd rather have it as a um, as a sniping keeler and just setting in the drones from distance. That's how I used to do it in um, in null sec. Right, let's drop them out. Send them to them. Right, so I'm just going to have to micromanage this because the cap is uh, pretty poor compared to the Tango. What's my range on those? 42. I suppose I could. Okay, well, that's, that's not bad. Better than what I thought I'd do.
The drones aren't doing too bad. I think I'd rather just keep this as a sniper. Uh, and just... I'll do the... I'll change change the fit. Totally change it. I'll have it how I used to have it. Just keep it at a distance orbit with the, with the afterburner. You know, you've not got a big um, footprint. So, yeah. If you're using a micro warp drive, of course, you'd be like, yeah, footprint would be the size of a, a small planet. But uh, damage wise, you, know, you can see it's not, it's nothing. Uh, Major. 42 range on that, so I don't know, I'm impressed with that. Take forever to load. But they're worth, they're worth the bounties, these. Let's just do that one cycle of that. Right. Finally. The yeah. hell. Get the drones on that. All right, he's stuck on a rock, so uh, he's gonna he's gonna die. Ooh, we need to bring it in a bit. Orbit that at 26 keeps us in range. Let the drones do this stuff. It's a shame the Tango can't carry drones. Then again, it would be, especially if it had a. The uh, one of the traits was um, drone damage. Oh, Jesus, it would be an awesome ship. Hmm. Slightly OP. A module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. Flipping heck. Those are terrible, those uh, 21, that's all you get in a magazine. So you can see why he was a tango. Just so much better. Right, come on. I mean, we've already got the stuff. It's already in the cargo hold. So the missions come, they will be complete when we go back. Well, he's actually got out. Stop kissing the rock. He's got out, so he's coming, coming for me now. <laughs> so you see the DPS from the, uh, you can see it's a hundred from the missiles, which is okay. This guy's repping though, so I'm gonna put the drones on him. As soon as they've killed the, the other big one. There you go. And just give the missiles a helping hand. I probably won't use them again, I'll just let the drones do the stuff. Drones are 
hitting him very hard. And he's dead. So just the last one. So you look at the traits for the uh, for the Gila. That's there's your DPS there. Five hundred percent bonus to medium combat drones, and that's that's amazing. I'm surprised they've not they've not nerfed the Gila, but hey, you never know. Come on, boys, I'll give you a little hand with this. Let's bring him in. Oh. So they're faster and they hit harder. That's what you like to see. Okay, let's see what else you can give us. Quite fancy, uh, quite fancy using the Dominics again, but we'll see. I'm itching to use the Navy Raven um, when I get it. That'll be in the next week, I think, when I've got enough. Um, Loiter points. I'm I'm close to six hundred thousand. That's what it costs for a, a Navy Raven. Docking permission requested. Docking I've used them before. Accepted. But you end up with so many ships. You just want to sell them. Just just <laughs> you end up with billions just in ships, and you think I'm sat on all these ships. Okay, so let's just. Strip it. Yeah, I'm not really. Oh, let's do the mission. Yes, we've completed it. Thank you. Let's just strip it. We'll start again on that. Okay. So. Where's my. We'll do them in tango first. Let's get those back on her. I need a few bits. Hmm. What's that one? No. That's rubbish. Bang that on there. Bang that on there. I may swap that out. I may swap that for the uh, for the other one. Oh, that's a thought. Mm, this one. And that one. Yeah, 483 HP every time. Brilliant. I'll uh, keep her at that. Right, let's ask, ask for a mission. And we'll decide what we're going to go in then. Eh? Smuggler interception. It's Blood Raiders. But let's just check the mission uh, bl blood raiders where are you um, smuggler smuggler interception huh? let's 
smuggler and it's blood raiders so it'll be i think in an em and thermal em and thermal okay so we need to swap her out we'll accept that it's uh, in a mocker again uh we should be able to fit 20 10 militants with a 20 m3 in there yeah should be okay so we just need to swap out i've got em ammo already and that should be enough so i'll just i'll just put that in the uh, in the magazines and we will just swap out these two kinetics for two ems we should be good to go if we just simulate that em and thermal that's not bad at all that's good okay so we're going to do it in the tango and we're going to undock okay let's go drive active so the range on these is only 44 these are uh, hams though there's heavy assault missiles just do some amazing damage what's the reward yeah. so it'll be a it'll be a, um, a medium to light one <coughs> will be too taxing certainly for the tango Okay. Warp drive active. Okay, we'll go what we got right of us. We'll do this one first. We can keep these on. We can perma, perma boost and have the micro, uh, the afterburner on, no problem. So I'm just going to lock them up from what I see. Jesus, they're way, way away. Let's go to the others. Solve it now. There we go. I think most of these are locked up. I could swap out the javelin. Uh, the range is 79, but we're getting there. It's, it's, it's gonna, not going to take us long to get in range with the rage. Let's go 25. Let's bring him in. There's one. There we go. You look at the rate of fire. Uh, it's about three seconds, not that. Not that. Two seconds. <laughs> Tracking disrupted, but that's no big deal. Die pretty quickly. What? Can't even see the ship. <laughs> the other one bites the dust. Okay. 
Right, let's have a look at the uh, the Geddens. Well, there's some Zealots there, but we'll do the, the Geddens. <coughs> We've got a little one way out there, 103, so he's not going to bother us. So I'm going to orbit this. Key transversal up. Can't even see the bloody ship. There's so much, so much smoke in the EM, uh, EM bursts. These look like balcones. Love it. Love the skin on these. Really, I love a balcone. As you can see, the uh, the Tengu does handle it, handles it very well. I mean, she could get all this aggro. She could get more aggroed on her, and it wouldn't. She wouldn't even break a sweat. It's a very versatile ship. I mean, look at that quick reload. You saw the gear, it was like <laughs> on reload. Kill this one and uh, we'll make our way to these guys. Get closer. We've got to find the uh, militants somewhere. So they'll be in. They should be in a transport ship, shouldn't they? Yeah, they should be. They'll be in a transport ship in the next room, or the one after that. Can't remember how many uh, how many rooms. Let's have a quick look. Well, that's it. Yep, just two. Right, let's get these popped. Oh no, I'm being nooted. There's a lot of these up now. <clears throat> I think you can get that skin. I'm sure you can. Let's make our way to these. There's a lot of the rest of them up. Oh, 
Okay, he'll die very quickly. And that big boy. the gate where's the gate right I'll make my way to the acceleration gate might just no no I won't no I'm gonna reload it <laughs> Just with the last one. Ah, uh, let's get to that gate. I knew I'd get in with a couple, that was it. So, I think the transport ships are... In the next, in the next room. I anyway, hope you're all well today. Not working too hard, I hope. It's a Friday. Bounce off the flipping rock. Ooh, ooh, just got through. <laughs> just got through. Right, we should be warping pretty soon. There we go. And we're away. So let's have a look what's... Uh, ooh, some juicy targets. Some tiddlers, which we need to, of course, remove first. So I'm going to continue forward. We'll lock the tiddlers up. And there's the transport. There's two of them, Blood Raider... Uh, personal transport so I will leave those two till last because that's the where the militants are so let's just get in range Okay, I could swap the javelin, like I say, guys, but uh, by the time I do that, I'll be on top of them. Are the little ones burning away? They're not. Right, okay. I think they are. Let's hit these. Let's hit the big ones. I 
I'm surprised these don't newt, because they do look like Balgorns. Well, they're staying out, so I'm going to unlock these and get uh, locked these two instead. I don't know why I lock them. Kill him quickly. Don't know why I lot that. <laughs> Can you hear their lasers? So I'm just going to lock what's aggroing. Now we've got some little ones there, but they're not they're not aggroing. So uh, let's go with these. I'll unlock these too. Cool. <laughs> no choice. These are um, these are like absolutions. Or prophecies, the Tech One version. Uh, I used to fly this as a um, as a command ship with fleet. I used to give fleet their bonuses. Fozzy has perfect um, leadership skills. All of them at level five. Every single leadership skill. Um, yeah. But the only problem with that, you were primary. You were always primary. I did get uh, doomsdayed by a Titan once. <laughs> All the repping on me in the world couldn't have, couldn't have saved me. And the, the ship had like 300,000 um, hit points on it. But no, I still got insta pop by a Titan. Good fun. Good thing about it, the, the Alliance, um, they reimburse you for your loss, including your, because um, I was podded as well, and you have the Mind Link uh, implant, so at the time the Mind Link implant was expensive, so they uh, refunded that as well. Everything was replaced, so it was, um, it was great, you just had fun knowing that you had the comfort of, they'll buy you another one. If you lost it. <laughs> so it gave you cause to, to do your job right. You didn't worry about uh, dying. Good days. I may return. I may go back to Nullsec. I've been talking to a few of my old corpies lately. And uh, yeah, they uh, would love to have me back, which is great. Never felt, you know, and I always left on good terms. Because I know I'd be going back. A module has run out of charges. We'll see. No, that one. Oh, bloody hell, did I kill the other? Is that one? I think I've killed the other. wasn't watching yeah I've killed one of the uh, personal uh, um, tra transports anyway we'll find it oh no let's just go towards this lot 
Just slightly out of range. I'll leave him to the last. The other one must be close by. Yeah, there it is. So that's okay. They tend not to move, these two. Okay. Let's bounce off the building. <laughs> Let's just take her out a bit. This is an APOC, a little bit tougher than a Geddon, but it's a faction APOC. So look at all the damage on his rear end. Boom. So as you can see guys, the Ham Tengu is pretty effective. If you have a setup right, you can just leave leave your, your boost, shield booster and your afterburner on. You don't even have to worry about that, just, just keep your eye on the shield of course. I mean, the little ones, I've always said it, make sure you kill the little ones first. Because they're the ones that will slow you down and then you will get hit harder. So kill those first, then at least, even if you do get in trouble, you can just, just warp out. There'll be no, uh, nothing holding you, nothing scramming you or um, webbing you. Lasers have no effect. Of course, the resistance is good. Look how quick this reloads. Rate of fire 1.92 seconds. So it's every nearly every two seconds. That's awesome. You can't beat it. Right, we'll uh, go to this group. Gonna leave him. He should die pretty damn quickly. If not, cut it in fact one salvo, I'm sure it is. Yeah. One salvo. Boom. These are smaller, so they do take a few more hits. Because the tank, the speed tanking. Having said that, they are coming to us in a straight line, so there's no transversal there. Oh, no, don't want it. I want that. Now he's, yeah, they've, these guys, they've both got the transversal now. That'd just be slightly harder to kill. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
We'll make our way to that one. We'll get our militants. Let's burn to. Come on. Look at everything going red. Don't even need those on so I can wrap them. So repair that, repair that, and may as well repair that. Okay. It won't take long to die. There's a the cargo. Our militants will be in there. It's just ten in it. Yeah. Okay, let's get him out. Sweet. And back to base we go. Warp drive active. So as you can see, there was nothing taxed in there at all. DPS was nominal. But you can see that the uh, shield booster took in its stride. I said it before, I'll say it again, my favourite ship. And I do like the Loki, Fuzzy, I have Fuzzy in the Loki, do like that. Don't I've not done, a, uh, not done a filament jump for ages into Nullsec with the Loki. I do another one. Skin. <laughs> Actually, I might have some. Yeah, I have. Hmm? Fireworks, God. I've got that. I've got the booster. Let's well take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, we've done the mission. Let's see what else she offers us. Yeah, Nomic team, we're going to accept that. It's way out wherever that is. And yeah, we'll do it. We need to do that in the Gamma. And it's the Nenyo. So on the on the um, let's have a look. It is here, and this is the anomic mission. The only one I do is an anomic team. <coughs> so the NU NU is twenty kilometer orbit. You orbit him at twenty kilometers. You initially use. Um, Navy Nova for the lodges and then for the Enyo we use Nova Rage 
So, Navy Nova. Okay. Brilliant. We've set destination. Let's just make sure we've got... Oh, sorry, I just clobbered the mic. Let's make sure we've got uh, plenty of Navy Nova. We've got Nova Rage, yep. And Navy Nova. Okay, sweet. Put that in there. Sometimes you get some nice stuff. I've had some faction stuff from this, but the main thing with this mission, as you can see, is nearly 13,000 loyalty points and five, well, four and a half million. Loyalty, po loyalty points right now stand at 557,000. So we're close. I just want to uh, get a Navy Raven on that. With my loyalty points. You still have to pay a bit of money, but it's worth it. <clears throat> right, so we've got four or five jumps. Active. And this has no tank. <laughs> Absolutely zero tank, as you can see. It's purely, it's purely when the micro drive, if you have a look at the micro, three, nearly 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 MS. That's your tank. But it's done. You can do it in five minutes for 13,000 loyalty points and four and a half million for five minutes work. Yeah takes you longer to get there than to actually do the mission but we shall see so when you warp in on the uh, Enyo straight away you lock it and then you orbit it set your orbit to 20 uh, you default orbit to 20 uh, and then hit the micro drive straight away uh, you've got to do it pretty quick because it will pop you if you if you mess around and take your time he will pop you it's caught me a few times nearly into structure but uh, yeah that's my own fault just messing around on another screen doing something else not concentrating So let's get our Navy Nova. jumps out <laughs> don't know if any of you guys fly the, the gamma it's uh, it's not a bad little ship I only use it for the missions drive active. I mean that's the fit Pretty basic, you know. It is. I, this is literally all this ship does is is the anomic team. That's the only anomic mission I do. Don't do any of the others. Uh, the anomic team, yeah, awesome. Don't know if any of you guys do any of the other missions, anomic missions. Let's swap, let's get these on. Swap to the gate. Ooh, excuse me. Tough day. There we go. And 
there they are. So you've got the Enyo and two lodges. The first thing you do is lock the Enyo orbit and get your microbe dive on quick. Jeez, took my time then. Um, so lock the Enyo, lock the um, lodges, and take out the lodges first. Obviously, the, f the first the lodge is going to be tough because the others are repping him. The other one's repping him. But you all manage it. And obviously, once the first one goes down, the second one's dead easy to kill. He's got no one to rep him. Neither has the Enyo. Well, the Enyo's got the other lodgy, but he's got nothing to back him up. So they... Uh, they die. So you look at the speed tank on this. Slowly getting through his armour. It's just enough DPS from the uh, Gamma. Another thing you have to consider. It's got to be at least two, I think, 200. And it says it on the mission guide, guys, if you want to look at the Anomic team. It tells you exactly what you need to do. There we go, he's about to die. There we go. There you go. Let's get the other logic. He'll fall pretty quickly now. Jeez, look at that. Okay, into structure. And away he goes. So we we'll swap out to Rage to kill the Enyo. Obviously, we're still orbiting at 20. Pushes us out to 22, which is cool. Just out of his range. arm and nearly. There we go, into his structure. There we go. Let's go to his wreck. See what there is. Probab there'll probably be nothing, but let's see. Mm, no, just, just pop. So let's go, let's go back. Drive active. Sweet. So that was it guys, that, that was very easy to do. It's the only anomic I'll do. Most of the lads in my court would only do that one. 
but we had the advantage of we were in geo and there were a few stations with about three or four different level four security agents so you had so many to have a go at and usually you got one or two anomic teams so you know you could earn good money along with doing your level fours in in null sec oh it's good money higher rewards higher higher low loyalty points If any of you guys have done these uh, anomic teams, if you do, just tell me what ship you do it in. If you don't do it in a gam, and if you don't, are you going to do it in a gam? Uh, what's the cost on this? It's not too much. 156 mil. Not a lot. Certainly worth it for the, uh, for the. I've had it. I've had this ship now a couple of years. It's just like I say, it just does the anomic teams. So it's 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 paid for itself. Well over. Don't know if any if any of you guys are doing level fours, just uh, just let me know what ships you use and what what's your favourite mission. Or if you're doing other stuff, let me know. You know, if you're doing incursions, um, doing some of the things I like to do. I like to uh, filament into Dulcek in a Loki, um, upset the locals. <laughs> And uh, I made my way back home through Nullsec with uh, half a million chasing you. <laughs> the last time I did it, I jumped through a gate and there was a freaking Titan on the other side. And they were getting very nervous, the locals. They must have seen me coming down, coming down the pipe. They must have reported me many a time. Uh, and he was on the gate in this Titan. I, if I'd had backup, he would have died. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, yeah. If I'd had a Sino on board, and I was still in the corp, there would have been a lot of pilots clambering to kill that Titan. It's hot drop a Titan. Lovely. We've done it many a time. Mother, mother ships, usually a Nix. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Anyway, let me know. What's your thing, guys? Right, so. Uh, complete the mission. Thank you very much. Ooh, coming up to 6,000 loyalty points. Just need a few more missions. But that's going to be it for now, guys. I will be back on. Uh, I don't know if it'll be a... It might be another Eve... Eve session or it might be Daisy it'll be one or the other but I don't know if it'll be tonight or today it's, it's uh, 10 minutes past 2 in the afternoon here in the UK so um, take care and I'll see you again very soon have a good weekend guys take care bye bye